Jessica here, back with another virtual family story time at Hales Corners Library. I'm so excited to be here with you today. This is our first story time for our summer reading program of 2021. So thank you so much for joining us today. This is so exciting. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's sing our hello song together. Are you ready? We wave and say hello. We wave and say hello. With our friends at story time, we wave and say hello. But we don't just wave, we do other things too. Like we clap and say hello. We clap and say hello. With our friends at story time, we clap and say hello. We march and say hello. We march and say hello. With our friends at story time, we march and say hello. We smile and say hello. We smile and say hello. With our friends at story time, we smile and say hello. Thank you so much for your help, friends. That was fantastic. Well, we have a really exciting story time to get going today. But what do I have here on my pool board? We have a letter. And what letter is that? That's right, it's the letter T. Oh, I wonder what that could be about. What kind of words start with the letter T? Let's think. Hmm. Well, we have a really short word, like the word tap. Can we tap our heads? Can we tap our fingers together? Great job. Well, what else starts with the letter T? T, T, T. Tomato. vegetable or a fruit? I don't know. Depends on who you ask. That's a fun T word. What else? What other word starts with T? What about? Terrific. That's what I think all of you are. Well, terrific is a very terrific word. But I wonder what our story time could be about today. It's something that starts with the letter T. It's also something the library is known for. I mean, if you've ever been to Hales Corners Library, you know that we have a very special guest who lives in our library with us 24 seven, and his name is Dash, and he is a turtle. Our story time today is all about turtles. Are you excited? I hope so. I know I am. Well, since it's story time, let's go ahead and get started with a story. Sound good? Our first story today is called Hurry Up and Slow Down by Lane Marlowe. That sounds so fun. So what do we know about turtles? That they move really slowly. Can you move slow like a turtle? Really slow. <laughs> Great job. So I have a feeling that this book is going to be about how fast or how slow a turtle moves. Ready? Hurry up and slow down by Lane Marlowe. Hare is nearly always in a hurry. Tortoise is not, however.
or should I say a terrific dessert? When Taurus plays a game, he plays slowly and thoughtfully. He doesn't make a mess and is always careful to put things away just so. Hurry up and clean up. doesn't like having to clean up all over again. Oops! Uh-oh! But when it's time for Hare to bounce into bed, what Tortoise likes most of all is to sip a cup of chamomile tea in peace. Hare, however, has other ideas. Can we have a story? Just one? Oh, please, please, please! You're so good at reading, Tortoise! their favorite picture book and begins to read the words out loud. In no time at all, he reads all the words on the first page. The second page and the third are over in a flash. The fourth flies by in the wink of an eye and Tortoise goes on to the fifth. He's just about to turn the page again when Hare cries. Hurry up and slow down! We need to take our time, Tortoise. We need to look at the pictures. Tortoise looks longingly at his cup of chamomile tea, which is getting cold. Then he looks at Hare and smiles and says, read the whole book over again. <laughs> the end. That was a lovely story. How many of you have ever done that before, where you finish a book and then you just know that you have to read it all over again right away? Oh, I used to do that all the time. Well, that was a really fun story all about a tortoise. Does anyone know the difference between and a turtle? There aren't too many. I mean, they both have a nice hard shell on the outside, and they both move really slowly, and they both eat things like vegetables and leaves and fruit. But I think the difference is that turtles like to live in the water, and tortoises like to live on land. Isn't that interesting? Well, I have a very fun action run we can do about turtles, and it definitely involves some water, but not real water, just pretend water in our imaginations. If I teach you the motions, can you follow along with me while we do our action run together? It's called I Have a Little Turtle, and it goes like this. I have a little turtle, and he lives inside a box. He swims in a puddle, and he climbs on rocks. He snapped at the mosquito. He snapped at a flea. He snapped at a minnow. And he snapped at me. He caught the mosquito. He caught the flea. He caught the minnow, but he can't catch me. Great work, can we try that all together one more time? your hands one on top of the other with your thumbs out like this. Little turtle arms. Ready? I have a little turtle and he lives inside a box. He swims in the puddles and he climbs on the rocks. He snapped at a mosquito. He snapped at a flea. He snapped at a 
minnow. And he snapped at me. He caught the mosquito. He caught the flea. He caught the minnow. But he can't catch me. Great job. Wasn't that so much fun? Well, I have one more story for us that isn't just about one turtle this time. There are so many, and I think I'm going to need your help counting all of them. Do you think you can help me? Our next book is called Turtle Splash by Catherine Falwell. Can you show me seven on your fingers? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Great. Seven sleepy turtles hear the crunch of sticks. Deer appear beside the shore. Oh, wow, look at it. There's even a baby deer. Now there are six. I think you know what's coming next. Can you show me six on your fingers? One, two, three, four, five, and six. Great work. Six stunning turtles watching ducklings dive. <gasps> Can we quack like a duckling? Quack, quack, quack. The mother mallard quacks at them. There are two. Can you show me two? One, two. It's 
getting a lot easier to count our fingers this time. Two silent turtles watching the setting sun. Mosquitoes buzz above their heads. Now there's only one. Can you show me one? Just one. One lonely turtle in the fading light. Can you see him on his ball? should I say, terrific counting. I could not have done that without your help. It was so much fun reading this book. I have a fun song we can sing about turtles next. Are you ready? It's called Turtle Turtle. You might know the tune, but I'll teach it to you. Are you ready? It goes like this. Turtle, turtle, move so slow. Crawling, crawling, watch him go. Can we try that part together? with movements. Turtle, turtle, move so slow. Crawling, crawling, watch him go. Great job, the next part goes like this. At the pond he looks around. See his head move up and down. Can we try that part together with the movements? At the pond he looks around. See his head move up and down. Work. Our next part goes like this. Turtle, turtle wants to swim. Now he slides and dives right in. Great work. Can we try that part together with the movements? And then we'll try the whole thing all together. Ready? Just that part with the movements. Turtle, turtle wants to swim. Now he slides and dives right in. Great job. Now from the top. Ready? Turtle, turtle, move so slow. Crawling, crawling, watch him go. At the pond he looks around. See his head move up and down. Turtle, turtle, wants to swim. Now he slides and dives right in. Great job, one more time all together from the top. Are you ready? Turtle, turtle, move so slow. Crawling, crawling, watch him go. At the pond he looks around. See his head move up and down. Turtle, turtle, wants to swim. Now he slides and dives right in. Great job! That was really fun. That was a very special turtle. But I have another story about another very special turtle. This one is called Emma's Turtle by Eve Bunting. Oh, look how fun he looks. I wonder what kind of adventures this turtle's going to get up to. Emma's Turtle by Eve Bunting. I am Emma's Turtle. I live in a pen in her backyard. Emma visits me often and brings me snacks. I let her stroke my head. She sits in her swing and reads to me of the world and places that are far, far away. She shows me pictures of elephants in Africa and kangaroos in Australia. There are tigers in India and panda bears in China. It's all quite amazing.
My life is good, but I often dream of the world that is far, far away. One day I tell myself to stop dreaming and go. I dig a hole under the wire of my pen and squeeze out. walking in this place I've never walked before. My legs are short and the grass is long. I think this must be the jungle. Perhaps I'm in Africa. Is that an elephant leg in front of me? Oh, I'm going to be squished. Oh, no, it's the stump of some strange jungle tree. I plod on. so far now that I think this must be Australia. Is that a kangaroo leaping through the grassland? No, it's a frog. But since it, but since it is an Australian frog, it is very interesting. Frogs certainly move fast. Oh, do you see him up there? I hear bells chime. Oh, can you listen for bells? Ah, they must be temple bells. This must be India. Oh, yikes, is that a tiger? Oh, do you see the striped tail? What could that be? I pull my two shells together so he can't eat me, but then I peek out and I see it's just the silly striped cat from next door. I never knew he sometimes visited India. <laughs> An Indian beetle watches me. He looks exactly like other beetles I've known. We are eyes to eyes. It's nice here in India, I tell him, but come visit me in the United States. It's nice there too. I may do that, he says. I gaze around. Do you know where the United States is from here? I ask. Sorry, he says and crawls off. so far? Will I be able to find my way home? Will I have to stay in India forever? A voice is calling. Turtle, turtle, where are you? Can we call for the turtle together? Ready? One, two, three. Turtle, turtle, where are you? Hooray, it's my Emma. Here in India, I say, but I am using turtle talk and she doesn't understand. She sees me and picks me up. Thank goodness I found you. Thank goodness. It is so good to be off my feet. I let her stroke my head. She's brought a snail for me in her pocket. It's fat and juicy and splendid. me back and sets me in my pen. Strawberry slices are scattered about for my supper. I'm tired, but I can still eat. Emma leans across my wire fence. Poor turtle, she croons. I bet it took you all day to go from one end of our yard to the other. I hope it was exciting for you. Did I really only go from one end of the yard to the other? Astonishing! Still, it is exciting to have the whole world here in my backyard. I settle to sleep. A traveling turtle needs his rest. Tomorrow, I will dig another hole. I need to go again and find China. <laughs> Fun adventure. I feel like sometimes we 
all have the whole world in our backyard. You just have to know where to look. Well, we have time for one more activity today, but before we do, we have to clear out our felt board because I have a fun surprise. There we go, and what do I have here? That's a big blue blob. What is that blue blob doing here? Well, maybe, maybe it's a pond. You see our pond? Can you, can you think of it as a pond in your imagination? That's a very nice looking pond, isn't it? But I think we have a special guest who wants to come and visit our pond. Oh wow, it's a turtle. Imagine that, how many? Just one. I have a rhyme about our one little turtle. Are you ready? One little turtle feeling mighty fine, sitting by the pond in the bright sunshine. He sees another turtle that wants to play. How many turtles do we have now? One, two, two turtles. Now two happy turtles have a fun day. Two happy turtles feeling mighty fine, swimming in the pond, woo, in the bright sunshine. Here's another turtle ready to play. Now how many? One, two, three. Now three happy turtles have a very wet day. One, two, three. Three wet turtles feeling mighty fine, blinking their eyes in the bright sunshine. They see another turtle who wants to play. Now, how many? One, two, three, four. Four turtles have a bright, happy day. Four green turtles feeling mighty fine, resting by the pond in the bright sunshine. They see another turtle ready to play. Now, one, two, three, four, five green turtles have a very happy day. Five tired turtles feeling mighty fine, resting by the pond in the bright sunshine. They had all their fun with their turtle play. Now five tired turtles slowly walk away. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Goodbye, turtles. Great job. Thank you so much for helping me with that rhyme, and thank you for counting. Well, I was going to say we're all out of time, but I think we might have just enough time to read a bonus book today. So exciting. But I have a question. Are you ready for a story? I don't know. Maybe if we sing it, you can show me that you're ready. Are you ready? If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, stomp your feet. If you're ready for a story, stomp your feet. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, stomp your feet. If you're ready for a story, pat your head. If you're ready for a story, pat your head. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, pat your head. If you're ready for a story, wiggle around. If you're ready for a story, wiggle around. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, wiggle around. If you're ready for a story, please sit down. If you're ready for a story, please sit down. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, please sit down. 
great job. Now I think we're ready. Well, this story is going to be very fun. It is called The Box Turtle by Vanessa Roeder. Doesn't that look so fun? The Box Turtle by Vanessa Roeder. When the little box turtle hatched, his parents noticed something missing. Oh me, oh my! But they weren't dismayed. They gave him a name and a shell, both of which fit him just right. Now remember, Terrence, you are so much more than just a shell. Terrence's shell kept him dry on the soggiest days, safe from the snoopiest strangers, and on the scariest nights. to share. Terrence loved his shell until one day. Your shell is weird. Well, that's not very nice. Suddenly Terrence's shell seemed too boring, too bizarre, and too big for the little box turtle to bear. So he abandoned it and searched for something better. Searched high and low until, wowee, his new shell looked sleek. Oh my goodness, is that a mailbox? Eek! Oh dear. <laughs> that seems like a bit of an invasion of privacy there. The search continued. Ooh la la. He looked classy. He looked sassy. He looked just like... Grandma Mildred? He looked for another shell. Oh yeah, he found it. A perfect polka dotty package. tried shell after shell after shell after shell, but nothing fit. This whole situation stunk a lot. That's it, I give up. Here you go. Scut, scut. Oh, the crab is sharing his shell with Terrence. It's very kind of him. Oh, wow. In that moment, the hermit crab showed what it meant to be a friend. The little crustacean was so much more than just a shell, and maybe Terrence was too. Terrence knew what he needed. Terrence patched on soggy days. He toiled on chilly nights. The task grew big enough to share. Finally, the shell was finished. It wasn't sleek or sassy. It was far 
from perfect and definitely weird. But Terrence wasn't dismayed because this little box turtle was so much more than just his shell. The end. That was a fantastic story and so correct. People are so much more than what's on the outside. And I think this story did a really good job of showing us that. Well, that's all the stories and activities I have today, but if you picked up one of our Take and Make kits from the library, you can craft along with us and we're gonna make some cupcake liner turtles. Isn't that so exciting? Feel free to stick around through the end of the video and craft along with us if you'd like. Thank you so much for joining us today. Let's go ahead and sing our goodbye song. Ready, get your wristwatch ready. Do you know what time it is? What time it is? What time it is? Do you know what time it is? Story time is over. Now it's time to wave goodbye, to wave goodbye, to wave goodbye. Now it's time to wave goodbye, because story time is over. But come back and we'll have fun, we'll have fun, we'll have fun. But come back and we'll have fun when we meet again. Fantastic. Thank you so much for joining me today, friends. I hope you had a great first story time in our Tales and Tales adventures for Summer Reading 2021. Like I said, stick around after the video. We'll do some fun crafting together. I hope you have a terrific rest of your day and a terrific rest of your week. Thank you so much for joining us. I'll see you next time. Bye. Hello, crafty friends. It is so terrific that you stuck through to the end for our craft with me session today. Our craft with me turtle craft this week is going to be a cupcake liner turtle. Isn't that so fun? It's made out of a cupcake liner and it's got little googly eyes so you can shake the paper and his eyes go all crazy. <laughs> I just think this is really cute, very fun. And I'm really excited to get started making this with you all today. Hopefully you've got a grown up by your side to help you with this if you feel like you might need some help. Uh, so the only thing that you are going to need today is one of our craft with me kits. Hopefully you uh, were able to pick one up from the library. Uh, we make these every week so we put them out up by the picture books so you can come by say hi to whoever's at the desk grab a kit or if you would like you can ask your grown-ups to call us and we can set some aside for you so you can come in and pick them up ahead of time in case you didn't pick them up in time which you know it happens that's life um we these materials are really easy to uh, to find on your own or to put together really last minute for this one all we're gonna need is some paper, a cupcake liner, maybe some googly eyes, and a glue stick, and also some optional colored pencils or crayons to decorate our ocean. Let's go ahead and get started crafting our cupcake liner turtle. So the first thing we're going to do is take apart our kit. So you'll see that the paper is stapled to the back of our paper bags. So we're gonna just go ahead and remove that staple very carefully. You may need to ask for assistance on this part. You just want to make sure that you don't rip the paper at all. And if you do, you know what, that's okay too. We've got plenty of paper to work with. So yeah, so mine ripped a little bit, but that's okay. We'll have plenty of room for our turtle to swim around. So the next thing in our kit is, let's see, we have to be kind of careful because there's little pieces in here but I see a cupcake liner. It's nice and green and white on the other side, but we're gonna use the green side today because that's way more fun. And let's just go ahead and, and dump the rest out. We'll have to be a little bit careful because I know that there's googly eyes floating around in here. We don't want them to end up lost or on the floor. Awesome, so let's see what was at the bottom of our bag, shall we? We have one very big circle, and we have 
four small circles. Oh, if I can pick it up, I don't know if I can. <laughs> four small circles, two googly eyes, and a little uh, egg shape or a diamond shape. Fantastic. Well, there's the makings of our turtle right there. That looks great. <laughs> All done. No, I'm just kidding. We are not done. We are far from done. We're just getting started. So the first thing that we're going to do is kind of clear our workspace. We'll scooch all of our stuff off to the side that we're not going to use. And we've got this blue piece of paper all set up and ready to go. The next thing I'll do is take my cupcake liner and my glue stick and lay my cupcake liner down on my paper and go around the white side of it, not the green side, with my glue stick. Just do a nice circle all the way around. This may be something that you need some grown-up assistance with, and that is okay. So we've got a nice little circle of glue going for us right there. The next thing that we're going to do is take our big circle, the biggest one we have, and glue that down kind of half on, half off the paper. If you didn't bring the glue all the way to the edge, if you need to peel it up and add a little bit more, you can do that. It's pretty forgiving right now because the glue is still pretty wet. <laughs> Great, so if we flip it over, you can see that we've got a little head for our turtle. We don't wanna press it down onto the paper just yet though. Okay, so next we'll add his little feet. So we've got where we want the head to be, and we're gonna kind of guess where we would put his little turtle feet. I'm gonna say they're about, about an inch or so away from where his head is, but you can put them wherever you'd like. And we'll go ahead and put some glue down and then just press those little circles on with our thumbs. So he's got his little turtle feet. How cute. I love it. And let's go ahead and do his back feet too. And we've got our nice two dots of glue for his back feet. We're just guessing. Our turtles can be built however we'd like them to be built. Oops. Okay, fantastic. So if we flip our turtle over, his green shell and his four little feet are looking great. And the last thing we're gonna do is add his tail. And we want that to be right across from where his head is. So you find where his head is, and then you move your glue stick directly across to the other side and put a little dot of glue down. And press your little teardrop or almond-shaped piece across from the head. And there is our turtle body. Oh, he looks fantastic. If you need to, you can go ahead and go around your cupcake liner one more time with your glue stick just to kind of seal it all in place. Looks great. I like using purple glue because I can see exactly where I put my glue. And then we're going to take our turtle and he can be whatever direction you would like him to be. And we are going to glue him down onto our little uh, patch of water here. This could be a pond or an ocean. I know there are sea turtles who live in the oceans. So you're gonna go ahead and press them down nice and firm there. And there we have a, an almost finished swimming turtle. Doesn't it look fun? So the last thing we need to do is give him some eyes. And we can go ahead and just, if you want to put the glue on the eyes, you can do that. You'll just have to be careful and you'll have to be okay with getting some glue on your fingers. Um, but you can go ahead and do little circles of glue on the backs of the eyes and just press them down right where you want them. That looks great! And that is our finished cupcake liner turtle. Oh, he's so fun. I love it. I love that his googly eyes move. And if you want to, if you want to spend a little more time on this craft, you can go ahead and take some colored pencils or some crayons and color on your turtle's uh, ocean or pond or wherever you decide that he's gonna live. You can also give him some nice patterns on his shell. I'll bring our example back up again and I'll show you 
our wonderful helper, Miss Emily, drew some great seaweed and fish and little starfish. Isn't that fantastic? She did a great job and he's blowing some bubbles. So you can see, you can really, really let your imagination fly on this one and give your cupcake liner turtle a really great home. Well, thank you so much for crafting along with me today. I had a blast. I hope you had fun too. Next week, we've got a really fun craft in store. So make sure that you stop by the library sometime before Friday and pick up your craft with me kit. They are free for anyone who comes into the library, but we do have a limited number. So you have to make sure that you come in early enough so that you can claim one. If not, these crafts are all pretty easy that you can put together on your own with supplies that you have at home. I am just happy that you're crafting along with me. I hope you had so much fun crafting our cupcake liner turtle. I am so excited and so looking forward to crafting along with you again next week. I hope you have a terrific rest of your day and a terrific rest of your week. I'll see you next time. Bye.